Okay, so previously we practiced the letter O and then of course the letter C. So I'm just going to review it with you really quick. I'm going to use my red marker and we use that wee the wee sound. Sorry, there's so many different ones and sometimes I make mistakes. So hopefully you know mistakes are okay too. Now as you can see my two different O's look a little bit different and um so, of course, when you're doing them, remember, mistakes are okay. We're looking for practice makes perfect, not perfect the first time, okay? So, we always start at the magic starting point at the top, and then we work our way down. Remember, when we're doing anything that is circular in motion, we start at that 2 o'clock, okay? And last time I showed you, it looked like this, and I went from the outside of it, and I started closer here to my 2 o'clock time frame, and then I went, ooh, wheel. And I thought, you know what, why don't I start at the 2 o'clock right on it and go around. And so I said, okay, here we go. Whee! Oh. And then I stopped. So that to me looked so much easier and I thought it was so much better for you to see. So I want you to do it in the air. Remember, we start at the 2 o'clock. That's not all the way up at the top line, but right here, kind of over here. And we're going to make that noise together. And it's whee! Oh. Here we go. Wee okay, so that two o'clock time, and we're just gonna do a quick review here. So we had our letter O, we started at our two o'clock time, and here we go. Wee One more time, you're doing it in the air. Wee All right, and then we practiced the letter C. So once again, we start at that two o'clock time. Start here. One more time, two o'clock. All right, so we did our capital letter O and our capital letter C. And now we are going to practice our new letters. And I want you to take a look at how I have this. I have, kind of like here, I have my three lines. My top line, my little line, I'm sorry, top line, middle line, and then my bottom line. And here, let me make this a little bit fatter for you. This is my top line. This is my bottom line. That is my middle line, and they want you to have this last line here so that when we do anything that has a curly Q, um, like a Q, or we have a G that comes around, or a Y that extends down, you know that this other line here is for that, okay? All right, so we're just gonna first start with A, and A is like a lowercase C. We start at that two o'clock time, but it's over here, okay? And because we're doing lowercase letters, our, um, there we go. Because we're doing lowercase letters, our magic starting point will be here at the two o'clock, but it will go all the way up here to this middle line and it will stop at that magic ending line. Not this one, okay? So here's an example. And you're just watching the first time. Whee Remember, lowercase a. Now I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to come right back up here, and I'm just going to go. Okay. One more time. All right. So it's your turn now, and you're going to go ahead and do that in the air. All right. Have fun. When you're all done, because I want you to pause this to practice, you might want to practice like three or four times, we're going to do the letter D. So go ahead and pause. All right, so let's go ahead and practice that lowercase letter D. And remember, we're going to start at our 2 o'clock here. And it's okay if, um, you know, in the beginning you put dots there for uh, with, I mean, it's okay if your mom or dad puts that dot there for you. As you can see, my um, paper kind of bled through, so I'm sorry. So I started at the 2 o'clock, and again, I'm going to go. Now it looks like my lowercase c, but this is a D. 
So now I'm going to go to my top line and I'm going to go See how it's kind of like the A, except for my line starts all the way at the top. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to put my dot for my two o'clock. Oh. Taking it up, going all the way to the top line. It's so important to remember that. And remember that line is going to go all the way down here, okay? Here we go. Your turn to practice. Have fun in the air. Make all the sounds and pause the video and then come back, okay? All right, so you should have paused the video. You should have practiced. So now you're going to look here and you have the lowercase letter writing practice sheet that you're going to use. And um, look, it says it right there, okay? And it's for the letter A and D, okay? So now, it's the same thing, and I'm not going to go through all of it with you for these because we've already done the practice and you know, but you're going to want to start it here, make your sounds as you go around, bring it down, right? And of course, once you've filled this in, you're going to pick your favorite one. Now for up here, I haven't told you what letters to put up there. And you're going to put capitals. Remember that goes from the top to the middle to the bottom. Not this last line. This one right here is empty, okay? So we'll do the capital O. Wee-o. Capital C. Wee-o. Capital O. Wee-o. Capital C. And then one more capital O. Alright, so go ahead, do your A and your D. And up here it says student name. Do you see that? That's a student name. What I want you to do is write your name in all capital letters. So I'm going to write my name. And then I have I-O, so, but it says E-O, kind of. So there's Scorpio. All right? Okay, that's what you're doing. Oh, that's 